Hey guys, it's Madison from The Film Magic and I am back for another video. Before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more movie content. So as you know, in the last video, I listed the top 10 Martin Scorsese films. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you go check that out really quick. So today I'm going to be doing the exact same thing with none other than Christopher Nolan. I'm going to be listing 10 of his films in order from worst to best. Again, little disclaimer, none of these films are bad in my opinion. I'm just kind of comparing some of his better films to I guess some of his films that lacked some things. And I'm just gonna list them all in a beautiful top 10 list for you guys. Taking our number 10 spot, we have the 2005 flick Batman Begins. So personally, I like, I feel like I'm gonna like, this is such an unpopular opinion, but I hate superhero flicks. I, I hate, I don't like Marvel movies. I don't really like DC movies. You know, I would never really go to the movie theaters to watch a Batman flick. With saying that, I actually did really enjoy this film. Um, I think Christian Bale was phenomenal. He, he's such a good actor and he's so cut out for the role of Batman that I feel like this honestly just kind of opened the way for a great franchise. But with said, compared to his other films, I feel like it didn't quite make the mark. That's why it's taking our number 10 spot. Taking the number 9 spot, we have the 1998 film The Following. And this film actually had an extremely low budget. I think it was something like $6,000 or something like that. It was like really, really low budget. Um, the film was good. I enjoyed it. I really don't have a lot to say about this film. It was just okay. You know what I mean? And that's why it's taking the number nine spot on our list today. Insomnia is going to be taking the number eight spot on our list. This film was from 2002, starring two great actors. Al Pacino and Robin Williams. I love Robin Williams. I always loved Robin Williams. I grew up watching like Mrs. Doubtfire and Jumanji and all those flicks. So I've always been a big Robin Williams fan. Fan, obviously in 2002, I was not even born. So yeah, Um, but when I got older and I got to watch this film after kind of growing up on like more children's films of Robin Williams, it was um really great to see him in a role like this. And come on, Al Pacino. I mean, you cannot go wrong if you have Al Pacino and Robin Williams in a film. That being said, again, compared to some of our other films on the list, it doesn't quite level up. Taking our number seven spot was a film that I watched twice and I am still have no idea what's going on in it because Christopher Nolan loves to change space and time and all that fun stuff. Taking our number seven spot is the 2020 film Tenet. Yeah, um, this film literally had me confused, honestly. If you like fully understood this film, please shoot me a DM on Instagram because I literally, like I've watched so many YouTube videos trying to explain it and I still have yet to explain it. Um, that being said, John David Washington was phenomenal. Robert Pattinson, so underrated, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I love these two actors together and I love the dynamic throughout the film. I thought it was just wonderful. And even though I didn't really understand it, I was able to tell that it's a great film. You know what I mean? So that says a lot, but for the simple fact that I really had a hard time understanding it, Tenet will be taking the number seven spot on our list. Taking the number six spot on our list is the 2014 flick starring Matthew McConaughey, Interstellar. I actually saw Interstellar in theaters when I was about, how old was I in 2014? 12 maybe? I, I saw Interstellar in theaters. Um, I personally really, really, really like space movies. I feel like it's so interesting to see. And of course, who is better to depict a space film than Christopher Nolan? I think he did phenomenal in this role. It was very emotional. It was very action-packed. I absolutely loved it. And I think Matthew McConaughey absolutely killed this role. I think he won an Oscar for it. I honestly cannot remember. This film was absolutely great. And that's why it's taking the number six spot, working our way into our top five. So taking the top five spot is the film from 2000, Memento. This film was great. I loved everything about it. I loved um, thriller films like this. So it kind of just made sense to put it top five. And it was also very critically acclaimed. A lot of people also favored this film. So I thought, you know, it's appropriate that Memento takes our top five spot. Number four on our list is probably one of personally, maybe my second favorite Christopher Nolan film. So number four on our list is Inception starring one of my favorite actors Leonardo DiCaprio if you know me I'm kind of a simp for Leo um yeah in Inception was honestly it kind of reminded me of
tenant in a way except it was way easier to understand it's like i literally cannot explain christopher nolan films to you guys i was supposed to do a tenant review and i literally was like how am i supposed to do a tenant review when i don't even understand the film but yeah inception was a great film for 2010 actually 2010 was general in general was a great year for film shutter island also got released in 2010 so leo had a really great year such a great film leonardo dicaprio did amazing in it yeah overall this definitely takes our number four spot now drum roll please working up to our top three christopher nolan films we have in third place the 2017 flick starring harry styles dunkirk if you know me you know i'm a huge history buff i love history movies especially history movies surrounding war and honestly this film was literally a masterpiece it was really hard kind of deciding these three movies which goes one two and three because the top three on our list are honestly all great masterpiece great films kudos to christopher because he is just a phenomenal director so yeah dunkirk will be taking and harry styles harry styles definitely surprised me in this film i thought he did a great job so yeah dunkirk will be taking our number three spot and in number two drum roll please 2006 flick the prestige starring christian bale scarlett johansson it's a bit of um a magician flick which i absolutely love and i feel like this film really surprised a lot of people Christian Bale absolutely killed it. Scarlett Johansson again, probably second to Margot Robbie on my list of favorite actresses. Actually, I lied. It probably goes Margot Robbie, Amy Adams, Scarlett Johansson. But yeah, um, I feel like that duo between Christian Bale and Scarlett Johansson really just complements the film nicely. And I absolutely love The Prestige. And I feel like it's no surprise that it's really up here on our list, taking the number two spot. And now for the number one spot on our list, I feel like it comes to no surprise after hearing all the titles, the one title that wasn't that was not mentioned yet is none other than the 2008 flick The Dark Knight. And I know I don't even like um that superhero vibe, Batman. I don't like all those type of movies, but this movie I mean, how can you not appreciate it? It was great. Um Batman Begins definitely paved the way for it. Heath Ledger, if you did not know, um there's lots of um theories and stuff that because of the film he had trouble sleeping he got out sleeping pills and that's kind of had to do with his overdose um which basically led to his death but Heath Ledger did end up taking home best actor for the role Joker and it is absolutely well deserved he absolutely killed the role um it's 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 so you know you watch Heath Ledger in 10 things I hate about you and then you watch him in Joker and it's like wow is that actually Heath? Like, when, the thing for me is if you can look at a performance and you're questioning, is that actually that actor? They did a phenomenal job. And all together, this movie is just wrapped up perfectly. Perfect amount of action, perfect amount of storyline. Christian Bale, phenomenal. Heath Ledger, phenomenal. Everything about this film just um, goes in together. Um, who else is in it? Jake Gyllenhaal's sister. I think it's Maggie Gyllenhaal. I actually do not remember. She did phenomenal. Nice little touch to the film. All in all, this definitely no doubt takes our number one spot on the top 10 Christopher Nolan films of all time. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and comment what you guys want to see next. We'll be sure to get it done. Thank you guys so much for tuning in.